An endless source of angst for Native Hawaiians, ancestral burial grounds trampled over by development. A Big Island man used a novel approach to save his ancestors' sacred site. Hawaii News Now's Jim Mendoza has the story. Keone Kealoha Alvarez walks the path on a trail in Puna he has covered countless times to a hole in the ground he discovered a long time ago. It holds the bones of his ancestors. It was more personal because I had that connection um, to our ancestors, so um, that's, that's what kind of drove me to try and preserve the site even more. The half-acre site houses the entrance to a lava tube Hawaiians used as a burial cave. There's several families that's in here. You know, it's not only just one burial. Seven years ago, the landowner was a stone's throw from developing the parcel and burying the cave. At that time, um, you know, a home was being built, you know, and every day you hear like the bulldozers and you're always thinking that, you know, the next lot is going to be the cave that's going to be bulldozed. This is a big island that's always being developed. Lots of people want to do the good thing, but have no avenue to turn to. Alvarez thought, buy the land, save the cave. The owner agreed to sell for $24,000. 24,000 reasons Alvarez couldn't afford it. But he thought of an idea and made a video and put it on YouTube. If you would like to help me save this burial cave from being destroyed due to development, this is how you can help. You can donate a dollar. Not only a dollar came in, nobody turned in a dollar. Usually it would be like $20, $50, $100. People around the world saw it and contributed $2,000 toward his cause. His savings and paychecks added more money. In February, Alvarez had enough to take over the property. He says the land is priceless, and so is the lesson. You don't have to build on something to make it valuable. Since he assumed ownership, the Island Burial Council and Hawaii County have recognized the burial ground as a protected site. And now Alvarez has a bigger platform. It's our education as Native Hawaiians to, to perpetuate our Hawaiian culture. Preservationists in Hawaii and on the mainland learned of his one-man campaign to preserve the cave. He's spoken in New York and Boston, and now National Geographic is interested in how he did what he did. I think that what he's done is really important. I think he set sort of a little precedent for his age. Uh, this is a very special place to me. Alvarez documented his seven-year crusade on video. He's weaving hundreds of hours of images into a documentary film. The story of the cave and its contents. They're going to remain. You know, it's a resting place. It's their final resting place. Alvarez maintains the site as a sacred place. He plans to keep it that way for future generations. And now he has a new goal. Buy the property alongside his that holds more burial caves and more remains. In Puna, Jim Mendoza, Hawaii News Now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why stop right there, right? Oh, you yeah. Can you imagine how many places are like that around the state? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the power of the Internet and getting yeah. the word out. Good for you, Keone.